Hi friends, watching movie reviews with Raghuram. In this video, I'll review uh, The Goat, the greatest of all times featuring Talapati Vijay, the heartthrob of millions. Let me start from the climax. Friends, in the climax, there is a high octane action sequence wherein director Venkata Prabhu presents his hero, The Goat, in the best of the action avatars, riding a two wheeler on the top of M.H. Chidambaram Stadium. And inside the stadium, there is yet another goat, the greatest of all times, M.S. Dhoni, Thada. So, Venkat Prabhu presents two Thadas, one playing in the stadium to demolish the opposition Mumbai Indians and win the match for Chennai Super Kings. <laughs> and then another Thada riding right on the top of the stadium, chasing the villain to end the villain and his bad intentions of doing something, something really heinous and uh, horrible. So, this setup is really awesome. Venkat Prabhu has... Uh, uh, made a clean blend of an action sequence and a cricket action. So that blend is what I love. Two goats in one frame, Talapati Vijay, right on the top of MH Chidambaram Stadium and the goat uh, MS Dhoni playing inside the stadium. So elevation, that is an elevation he gives to his hero. And at the same time, the movie ends wherein Thala finishes, the, finishes off the match in style inside the stadium, MS Dhoni, and the Thala finishes off his game right on the top of MH Chidambaram Stadium in style. <laughs> Watch that high octane uh, sequence. And then coming to this person, the goat, the greatest of all times, uh, uh, Vijay. This movie is uh, being said as the penultimate movie of uh, Thala Vijay. So, in that sense, I should tell uh, Vijay's fans would get a fantastic treat from Venkat Prabhu, a Venkat Prabhu hero. He is in the movie and you'll get a treat there because you get to watch Talapati Vijay in two roles, two special roles, father and son, Gandhi and Jeevan. While Gandhi is a part of SAT's team, that is Special Anti Terrorist Squad, Jeevan has different layers who plays the son of uh, Gandhi who has different layers in his character. Of course, Gandhi also has different layers in his character. Jeevan's character also has an extra intimidating uh, angle in his layer. So what to tell about this uh, special actor, Talapati Vijay, he stamped his authority in each and every frame, in each and every scene in which he is in. He owns the scene uh, for himself and he lives in that particular character. Uh, coming to the variance, what I was speaking, friends, he is presented as an action hero here, plenty of action sequences involving both Vijays, it's really fantastic and as I said, drama, in drama he sets in well and the humor we know and the dance, he dances like a god and a little bit of romance that he can uh, uh, be and then couple of emotion scenes friends where he breaks down, he breaks down in front of uh, his wife once and he breaks down in front of his son once, that is Talapati Vijay, emotional Talapati Vijay for you and the swag, the style, the aura, the charisma and that particular power, energy and adrenaline he pumps in each and every scene is highly immense. That is why he is Talapati. Coming to the story, friends, don't expect an extraordinary story. It is a predictable story of anti-terrorist squad versus uh, the terrorists and the terrorism. Vijay is a part of that particular team. And there are a few incidents in the first half which bring turning points in his life. Uh, the first one is the Kenyan episode. Uh, there is an action sequence, uh, in the train that sets up uh, the premise and also conflict for the future part of the movie. And that brings a turning point in Talapati Vijay's life, Gandhi's life. The second episode takes place in Thailand, that is Bangkok, that brings yet another turning point in his life. That is a point where he leaves Sats and then owns some other profession. And then he goes on yet another assignment to Moscow, not being in the duty. And that Moscow episode also brings yet another turning point in his life. And there is a big interval twist, which you might predict very early in the movie. A fantastic interval block after a big action episode that set another turning point in Gandhi's life. There Gandhi decides that he'll join back Sats. And the entire second half is the cat and mouse game between uh, Gandhi and uh, the unknown, unpredictable, masked enemy. Here, for Gandhi, it becomes personal and more. And the movie culminates in a fantastic uh, climax with a high-octane action sequence. Apart from the interval twist, friends, there is one major twist, one major reveal, which we are not expecting. That happens towards the end of the movie, half an hour before end of the movie. And that comes with a gut-wrenching episode. And coming to the support cast ensemble, Prabhudeva, Prashant, Jairam, all have given fantastic performances. Uh, Ajmal Amir and then Sneha, who plays the wife of uh, Talapati Vijay, that is Gandhi's wife. I loved watching uh, Kokila Mohan after a pretty long time on the big screen in that intimidating avatar. We also have Yogi Babu and artificial intelligence created Vijay Kansar. And then you have the beautiful lady Meenakshi Choudhury, who is the love interest of Jeevan, who doesn't have a big role in the movie, but she looked cute and beautiful. And you'll definitely love the cameo of Shiva Kartikeyan. And you have Trisha Krishnan in a dance number. As beautiful as ever. Coming to the action episode, friends, brilliantly choreographed action sequences. You have two train action sequences, one right at the beginning of the movie and uh, the second one at the interval block. And two more high octane action sequences, one at Bangkok and the other one at Moscow. And one more big action sequence at the climax of the movie. 
and then coming to the music of the movie yuvan shankar raja has composed the music as well as background music background music is really effective and gives elevations especially during the action episodes and during some moments of suspense and thrill the songs are decent enough friends but two songs definitely i felt were totally unnecessary one dance number comes after a death sequence friends that i felt really it was horrible and another dance number with trisha both these dance numbers were not at all needed and next coming to the humor of the movie there are two humor episodes which i loved one talapati vijay's humor episode with his wife sneha and the second one is really fantastic the yogi babu episode yogi babu episodes those 5 to 7 minutes is simply awesome and hilarious where there is gandhi versus nehru versus bose episode watch out for that siddhartha nuni's uh, cinematography is also simply brilliant i should tell technically the movie is good the production values are really high venkat prabhu has used the ipl craze and ipl trend very effectively in the movie there are many references of chennai super kings and thala doni and at the interval definitely not moment you love that and coming to the end credits of the movie friends the end credits of the movie tells that there might be a sequel for the goat the goat versus og seeing that talapati vijay has already committed to his 69th movie the upcoming movie which will tentatively be his last movie i did not understand what is the significance of this uh, end credits coming to the direction venkat prabhu has given a total fan service for vijay's fans a predictable story with couple of twists but the movie is engaging and entertaining Coming to the negatives of the movie, the length of the movie is three hours three minutes. It could have definitely been trimmed. A predictable story and uh, two unnecessary songs. VFX and CGI would have been better. Is what effect? Coming to my final verdict, friends, the goat is Talapati Vijay's movie. If you are a Talapati Vijay's fan, you will definitely love the movie. I loved the movie eight out of ten for the goat on my scorecard. Thanks for watching my video. Follow my video, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you all in my next video with another movie review. Until then, do take care. Goodbye. Namaste.